miles of smiles out at the Dakota Magic Casino on I-29 and exit one. A few high clouds out there, but another lovely day at the South Dakota border. Here in the FM area, we are really enjoying gorgeous conditions into our evening. A look at Hector. We're still 40 degrees, 41 at Moorheads Airport. Light winds, and yes, we do have a few clouds drifting overhead. Elsewhere, 39 Devils Lake, 41 in Jamestown. Look to the northwest where we saw that unsettled weather moments ago, and we don't see temperatures that are too cold yet, and that's a good sign. As we look off to the east where things have been a little on the cooler side, we still managed to get well into the 40s in Roseau County today, as well as Fergus Falls. Down to 39 in that area, though, now as we head into the evening hours. Big changes are in the offing for tonight. Now, here's one of the reasons why we were so warm. A big bubble of warm air. You can kind of see these warm colors that have made it their way all the way up central plains into the northern plains here, with the yellows indicative of 60s in the western Dakotas and in the big sky country of Montana as we take a look at cooler air in the Great Lakes region. For us, nothing too cold yet, but we do have changes that are going to be heading our way tonight and the satellite starting to highlight some of those. We still see the evidence of this upside down U shape here or a ridge of high pressure down to the south with the warmer air down here, but there is cooler air up to the north and along that border, well, we have some unsettled weather and a weather wiggle working its way through. So this evening, as we go through, the clouds will be thickest up north and we'll have some precipitation forming. Because we got so warm today, the good news is, is our road surfaces will start out fairly warm, but we could have precipitation in the form of rain and some drizzle or mix. But as we go through the overnight and as temperatures continue their decline, we're going to see mostly snow. As we go through the overnight hours, look where this moves, mainly along and north of Highway 2 as we go through those overnight hours. Clouds for the rest of us, and yes, even during the overnight hours, we'll have gusty northwest winds over 20 miles per hour at times. Temperatures near 30 for almost everyone, and you will have some shovel trouble first thing in the morning in some spots up north. The snow exits through late morning. Then as we go through the day, the wind continues to blow from the northwest. Temperatures will be cooler, but still way above average for this time of the year. We're going to be near 40 in a few spots, 30s elsewhere. But wind chilly is what we'll call it with decreasing clouds late in the day. Things look like we could see some patchy fog developing as we head into the evening hours tomorrow night. How much snow? Well, a trace to around an inch for many. Uh, this would be from Walhalla, Rolla, all the way out through Roseau County, uh, maybe even Carlstad, seeing a little bit of snow. But up around Lake of the Woods and in Roseau County in the northern reaches, we might see some spots with one to three inches of snow. That'll be in time for your morning drive, so be aware of that. That might take you a little extra time. No snow in Fargo, though. We start out at 28. On our way up to 38 to 39 degrees in the afternoon. Not bad. However, keep in mind, Hutch says that wind is going to be a rocket out there. Andrea, we're going to have some gusts here of around 30 miles per hour, and that means an extra pump or three of hairspray will come in handy. There's the freezing line making a return to the valley as we go through our afternoon tomorrow. Colder weather in northern Minnesota, where we will have some snow on the ground by your afternoon hours, but we should see improving sky conditions across the board as we go through the latter portion of the day. Speaking of sky conditions, no words needed for this gorgeous shot here. Chris, thanks for taking the time to upload that. Now, we get colder. We've dropped our first alert weather day on Friday. Uh, we're not going to be as cold as we thought, but we're still going in that direction heading into your weekend. Temperatures below freezing, and in fact, single-digit morning lows and highs in the teens, which is more seasonable for this time of the year, carry us into next week. No significant weather makers. Maybe Monday, a chance for some more measurable snowfall. All right, thanks, Hutch. You bet.